Look, it's us. Oh, I have you on mute. Oh. Sorry, Dre. I now have you unmuted. Hi. Hi. It was a good thing you had me muted. The dog was just drinking. It didn't sound very good. Perfect. <laughs> good All time. right. Well, it is that time. It is Wednesday, July 12th. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and it is time for Bead Shop Live on this Wednesday. And look, it's Juria. It's me. Hi. Hi. And it's new stuff new down stuff. at the bottom. That's right. So we've got, I'm looking at all of the, the, the comments here. Um, I saw a hippie girl comment. Yeah. I love it. I also love that Lisa P got her pearls and lapis kit. Oh yeah. And she cannot say enough how beautiful it is. I'm so stoked about that, that you love it. And let me see. Someone else was saying, oh yeah, here's the, here's Karen. She loves, loves, loves yep. these necklaces, which is and awesome. And Rhonda is on vacation, relaxing on the beach. Mm -hmm. So whatever. <laughs> Rhonda Lynn Where? with 50 names that I somehow remember who you are somehow. That's right. I think that's <laughs> awesome that you're relaxing on the beach. We'll be right there. I'll be right there. And Lorraine is saying, what a treat, Kate and Drea. Lorraine, I mailed out your package, so you should have whatever I mailed out to you. Pearls? I don't remember. Pearls. Yeah, you should have it shortly. Um, what else? What else have we got? Gosh, we've got so many people watching and saying hello. And Karen is saying to you, Drea, you are such a talent and I love your work. Thank it you. is true. It is true. We, she, um, Drea really runs beadshop.com. She has <laughs> and behind the scenes a lot. No, dude, I, I wake up every morning going, yay, Drea. And it's not a lie. Um, well, then I apologize for next week where I will at, be at the beach. <laughs> yes, you are going to be the, at the beach and I'm going to be on customer service. So we all know what that means, but I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I promise. Or I'll just wait till Drea gets back. No, I'm just kidding. I will get back to you. Um, so kids, we have a bunch of stuff today. The long awaited Green Girl product release is here. We're going to talk about those. The long awaited, though I don't know if you are waiting for it, but you'll be waiting for it now that you've seen it. The new hemp cord. I was colors. waiting for it. Yeah. I mean, just look at them. We, we chose these and they're so gorge. You gorgeous. Yeah. Beautiful. I think I don't know which one's my favorite. I'm really having a pink moment this year. I think like everybody else is, I finally yeah. gotten into it. Got but this kind of rosy color, they're just- it was these that got me, these two together, the burgundy and the pink. Yeah, with oh, you, yeah. with you, 100%. And I love this gray blue yeah. kind of That's, thing. Um, dusty blue. Dusty I blue. I have the navy right here. You yeah. have the dusty blue, which we're replacing our old blue with. It's just a nicer blue. It's a much better color. Yeah. I agree. And then I have Drea. Like I didn't take all mine out. I have my periwinkle with me. I might have so to I, over there. Yeah, I have all mine in this box. I have some that we actually mm -hmm. don't carry, but that we're yeah, looking this... at. Let's get that out of the way. But 
one of my faves. I have that one that, somewhere. Yeah, whatever this one's called. Camouflage. Camo? Yeah, I really like it. I'm also a big fan of that multicolor, but in a little bit of a more subtle. I forget what we call it, to be honest I with you. I forget what we call it, too. Sub, or as I like to say, subtle. Sub, subtle. This, our hot pink goes beautifully with this. Variegated earthy. Ah, variegated yes. earthy. Love it. Look at we how have three go together. Dark and pink and light pink that are both in clearance because we are replacing them both with this. With Just this one, pink. right? Okay, yeah. So we still have a few of these left. Not a lot, I don't think, but yeah, we have a couple. Yeah, so if you wanna complete this collection. Um, I also love it with, are we keeping this one, Tria? Are we hanging on to that? Party? Party. I don't remember. Let's look. Uh, taffy. It's taffy, and that one is also going bye bye. It's going bye bye. Yeah. So if you like this mix with it, get it now. What about our red? Do we have red? We have a red. Red's is good. It, is it this that. one? Uh, let me go back. To I think you. it's that one. Yes. Yeah. Look at how cool those look together. And if you wanted to add in, I think this is the pumpkin or something like that. Pumpkin is also on clearance because they're not yeah. making it anymore, but we are yeah. replacing it with a new orange. Yeah. With something else. So yeah. if you love it, we still have a few. Yeah. But the hemp colors, and just to let you folks know, here's that periwinkle. I mean, just look at it. Beauty on. Beautiful. So if you love the hemp, I would grab some of these colors that are going to be no more. And also be aware, friends, that sometimes the hemp um, varies a little bit from batch to batch because it is yep. hand done and hand dyed. So we always try and update our photos with what the latest is uh, color wise. But if you do get a little bit of variation, know that that's not a mistake on our part. It's just a variation in the dye lot, kind of like yarn. Or right. like leather and every all these other yeah. natural things that we have that are dyed. Exactly. So I'm going to highlight my screen, not me. I'm going to highlight here. And let's talk a little bit about the new Green Girl stuff. And then, Drea, you have a sample that we want to show as well of one of your favorite pieces that we've gotten in. I've been asking for this bunny for years. You have. And I don't know why we didn't get it before, but we've got it now. Let me see. You wanted me to suffer. I get maybe. I, I don't know. It wasn't very nice of me, but <laughs> I love this piece. I need yeah, bunny. Here's, I need all the bunnies. Here's the bunny. And the bunny has a nice, can you see that nice big hole here? This bunny, let me re-zero, from the bottom of its little feet to the tip of its little nose is about 31 and a half uh, millimeters. Yeah, Lorraine's saying it's Betty. Betty, unfortunately, has gone Betty, on to her. Betty her, has crossed her, the rainbow bridge. Yes, her great reward, but it's a good, um, it's a good talisman to have for sure. You I gave actually bought mine years ago. Yeah. Uh, the sample I'm going to show is my bracelet and it has a dog bead and a rabbit bead that were for my last rabbit and last dog. Oh, <laughs> I, wear, I, I wear this bracelet every day almost. Oh. It's very worn and very well loved as you will see. We'll put it on your camera and we'll do a, 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 a close up for yeah, it. And then that. Curtis has a great question. Curtis, I'm going to circle back around to that too. Uh, let me finish with these with, uh, green girl. So the whole size in the bunny, it's about three millimeters. So it'll accommodate a lot of cording. And then this is the poppy link. And I got the poppy link because the poppy link goes beautifully Look how pretty. with our poppy clasp. Now remember this poppy clasp is a beadshop.com exclusive from Cynthia. You can't find it anywhere else, just us. And Cynthia and Azalea and I actually yesterday had a meeting about our next exclusive thing that's going to drop in the fall. We're super excited about it. But this um, poppy 
length. Let me show you the size. This is about two millimeters, the holes on either end, and a little over 25 millimeters by 20. I love this. I mean, look at the detail on Beautiful. this. I just love it. And then um, we also got another flower link, this iris that says wisdom. This iris to me, 27.4 millimeter, including that 20 mil or two millimeter rather. And then, so it's a circle, a little over 22 and a half. I want to show you, I actually bought myself something that is going to go with, I'm going to show you, I'm going to come back to this in just a second because it's so old fashioned and beautiful. I love it. Here's the, um, what do we call this one, Dre? Do you remember? Uh, flower wreath. Flower wreath. Pendant. This one is bigger-ish. 37 and a half millimeter. That opening is a little over 16. And then the hole is two and a half. So it's a really, and look at how the back is also embellished. I love that she does front and back. I do too. Everything so is so good. nice. And you could dangle like a drop or something in here. I think it would just be gorge. Then speaking of front and back, look at this dragonfly. It has a component, top and bottom loops. From top of the head to the tip of the tail, it's a little over 38 millimeter. And... The wingspan is about 42. Now, oh, sorry, I know. <laughs> Linda's saying, I can't pay attention till I know why there's only polish on one of my thumbs. <laughs> and it's hilarious. So I, you know your left hand? Linda, that's hilarious because you know I don't know my right and my left. I have to think about it. That's super funny. I was testing silver polish because... I wanted silver polish. And so I furtively was putting it on in the store because <laughs> I'm one of those people. And then I bought it. I knew I'd buy it. I only tried one and it was the one I bought. And then I realized I didn't have any nail polish remover at home. <laughs> so, so I have 30 bottles. You want one? Yeah. So <laughs> I'm a winner with my thumb. That's very Kate Richburg of you. Anyway, so so it's a new trend. Just thumbs. Just thumbs. So I'm sorry. I'll Yeah, just ridiculous. So don't worry, um, Linda, all ten of mine are painted. The yeah, yeah thank you. Drea will take care of that for me. <laughs> so this dragonfly, friends, look at the front or the, the back. I get well, it's the back. Underside. I guess the underside. Look how detailed um both the the back and the underside are just gorgeous look at it's little feet it's little bug feet it's just like yeah i just love it and so um so those are our new ones from cynthia as well as we got the poppy class back in we'll we'll continue to carry this mm -hmm. so don't worry we may run out of it. You know, Green Girl is just a small operation. It's just really Cynthia's husband, Greg, doing all of the casting and they do it all in their home studio. So um, when we run out, it takes us a little while to get back in, but, um, but rest assured, we'll be continuing to carry this beauty. Um, we've got plenty in stock right now. So if you love this poppy clasp, it's a great time to grab it. Let me show you just real quick, Something here, though, that I think you folks will love. I'm going to, Drea, why don't you show everybody while I yeah. grab it? I'm going to put your camera on solo here, and you can show everybody your piece there. This is the Drea's favorite bracelet. I've worn this for years, almost every day. It is super worn out, <laughs> and I need to remake it. But I use the rabbit as kind of my toggle. There's a leather loop. I started with the loop and I ended it with the rabbit and I just macrameed the leather fit right through. I tied a, just an overhand knot. I mean, you can even see the leather, the color is coming off of this, but this is 
It's so pretty, Drea. My love of Green Girl, of my animals, of my Labradorite. Um, I don't know if you can see it a little better. But it just makes a really good toggle bar. Yeah. And then the it other side is really just does. I a love how you leather. use it as the toggle bar. Actually. I really need to remake this. It's so ready to fall apart. I mean, I have threads coming off, but I love it. And I I just will keep wearing it forever. <laughs> I love it. But it so, was a really fun way to use that rabbit without, you know, in a different way. Yeah. No, I love them. And so one of the things that I love about Cynthia's pieces, and let me get back to, to, let me, let me move our, sorry, I'm moving, I waxed my camera. No, it's okay. There we go. Uh, one of the things I'm going to, let me highlight this and this, there we go. Okay. Um, oh. Hang on. Andrea, can you hear me? I think I can hear an echo just a tad again. Uh, I may have hit my phone when I... Maybe. Hello, hello. There we go. Hello, that's, hello. I think that's better. Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Um, so if you're watching my... What do I want to say? My socials or my social media you know that um, one of my metal smithing friends, his name is Ron Landis. He is an heirloom engraver. And I love his engraved pieces. And right now he put out, he's trying to save his workshop. And you can find him at landisstudios.net. L-A-N-D-I-S Studios. He's done engraving for very famous things, you know, different like trophies and really cool things. Anyway, so he does these pieces. And one of the things that I love about Cynthia's pieces is that they have a super vintage vibe to them, right? So I'm polishing, this piece is a piece I got from Ron. And I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's a hand engraved KFR, Kate Ferrant Richburg, sterling silver, little like old fashioned piece here, like a pendant, right? So I'm going to pair mine with this Green Girl Studios piece. And I think I'm going to wire wrap a Tahitian pearl. Ooh. And this is like an instant heirloom. And you can find these on Ron's site. You can put in what you want him to engrave. I got a few um, as birthday gifts for gifts that are coming up. And we may or may not have gotten one for a very special um bead shop person that just had a birthday. I'm not saying her name out loud, Emily, in case you're watching. Um, but he really does beautiful work. And so I wanted to give Ron a shout out. This is one that I got for my buddy, Beth, whose birthday is coming up too. But the thing about Cynthia's pieces is they have such a, what do I want to say? It's like a, a a weight to them that isn't just a physical weight. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. They have just such beauty to them and pairing it with an heirloom piece that you might have in your stash. If you have an old locket or, um, you know, just a pretty pendant that you've always loved, you can always stack it with something new and cool from the green girl collection. So that's what I'm going to do. And I've been polishing this. I actually antiqued mine. I used the Sharpie message presents. Yes. Thank you, JP. Ooh, that's yeah. exactly, exactly right. Arthur. Um, yeah. Janice always knows. And I'm using these pro pro polish pads. As you can see, you're I, like an ad for them right now. I love those things. I do too. And the way that I, let me show you actually on this pewter even, I can show it to you on Cynthia's. 
I do this a lot with my metal pieces as well if I need a quick antiquing project or antiquing. So see, I've colored the back of Cynthia's piece here with just my permanent marker. And here is my Pro Polish pad. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to polish away on the reverse. Look at how, what a nice high shine Beauteous. I get on that. So Pro Polish pads, if you use metal at all, see, well, look at, you can see this side is shinier that I just polished than this side here. So they're just, um, they're gorgeous. And of course you get Pro Polish pads all over your fingers and along with my one polish nail, but um, it's a good tip. So if you are interested in all in getting your own heirloom, you can check out my buddy Ron at Landa Studios. He's just an, again, an heirloom engraver. I really love this piece. Um, and it'll be really fun to play around with these for, with Cynthia's works. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you. And the Pro Polish pads, we have them right in stock, right on the yep. website. Um, I think they're under tools. Tools, tools. tools yeah. and then I think odds and ends. Yeah, that's where they are. And I use them constantly, constantly. all the time. There's one oh. under my velvet insert right here. There's, I always have one There's yeah. in my bag. You never know when something's tarnished. Right. And you'll be like best friends with everyone who yeah. they're like, oh, this is tarnished or whatever. You whip out a pro polish pad. You're like, I literally do that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I do too. I'm a superhero. Um, it is true. Um, okay. So this project that I have here, this was our Bollywood necklace project that we had a while back, right? Yes. Trail of stars. Trail of stars. So pretty. And the, there were five here. I actually have four of the five. I'm not sure where the fifth one went since our move, but we used Chinese knotting cord on these. And the Chinese knotting cord was great. We loved using it for these pieces and we used it because Perfect. we do it with the Bollywood bracelets also mm -hmm. with the Chinese knotting cord. But when we got the hemp and we still carry most of these components, I mean, just look at how pretty I use that button for the center. This was Very a fun one. Um, but hemp is a great stand in for that Chinese knot. A little different. Drea, you're going to talk about some of the, it's not issues, but some of the, the techniques and stuff mm -hmm. are around hemp. And then Curtis had a question a while back that I wanted to address right now, which was what's the difference between hemp and say the, um, the Ceylon or this Chinese knotting cord. And so the difference is, here's this, sorry, my hand now is really dirty to co all covered with pro polish pad residue, but it's all right. Matches my one polish nail. Let me, I'm never gonna live that down. I've gotta go buy some nail polish remover today. Um, here's these three. Here's the CKC. This is four millimeter. This is Ceylon in regular. And this is the hemp. So you can see it's a little, the thickness is a little heavier, but these in laddering, have you used these to ladder, Drea? We used it in our BFF. Uh, yeah, the his, hers BFF. And yeah. I made a couple pieces on my own laddering with them. Yeah. Um, it is thicker. It is, and it will vary. Even on the same spool, the thickness can vary. Mm -hmm. um, it is a natural fiber and it is hand dyed. So it will, it will change a lot like leather does. Mm -hmm. And it is also in plies, kind of like wax linen. So can you see how I can unply it? And I've got three plies here. 
Yeah, Janice wanted to see. She read my mind. The hemp with the wax linen. Let me grab it. Oh, good thinking. Uh, I've got some wax linen right here. We just had a huge wax linen refresh, restock. So here's the wax linen. It's hard to tell the difference. This is the wax linen in the denim on this side, and this is the hemp on the right. They're really like real feeling. Like the it's fibrous and and yeah. it really has that natural feel to it. Yeah, I really I I like it a lot. And the, Janice will come up with a better word for it. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> But it feels, this has, the wax linen has four plies. Can you see these four plies? Right here. Like this. There's four versus these three. Like that. And Angie's asking, how does the hemp compare to bamboo cord? You know, I'm not familiar with bamboo cord, to be honest. I haven't used it. Um, we'll have to look that up and see. Um, Colleen's asking what the word Bollywood means. Um, that's a, our style of stringing. Our Bollywood bracelet, if you go back, I don't know, years on bead shop. Many, many, many years. Many, many years. We did this really fun project of these stackable bracelets. And they were so fun and vibrant not unlike the beautiful Bollywood movies um, and the and the dancing uh, in that it's so vibrant and fun and um, and you know the, the beautiful jewelry and stuff that they wear. So we named this kind of the quote unquote Bollywood style. So we call this Bollywood, and then we call these the Bollywood necklaces in appreciation of um, how beautiful jewelry from India is yeah, so that was, that was 2012. wow 2012 yeah. wow wow um okay i'm gonna pull yours in the center here drea all right and super bollywood style all these it occurred to me late last night as i was finishing <laughs> that i didn't do the bollywood how ridiculous am i i strung my beads straight on my center cord and the Bollywood is really what started it was beads on the edge. Right. Exactly. And I didn't think about it. So we'll still call them Bollywood, but, uh, and of course, when you make necklaces at home, you can do it however you like and Bollywood. It up some more. It works. That's right. But I literally realized this last night at like 10 PM. I didn't Bollywood my Bollywood. Well, you Bollywooded a little I did. over there I did at 10 p.m. That's while I right. was texting you. So um, you have a nest that you want to show. Oh, do you want to see my nest? I do. This and let's talk a little bit because you had a few not issues with the hemp, but there's a little bit of learning curve. Is that right? Kind of. It was more me not planning well. It was more my fault than the hemp's fault. I'll throw that right out there. And then we also ran into issues with inventory where we couldn't get some of the original items that I had wanted to use. And so I nixed them. So this originally was going to be a five strand necklace. I selected my hemp colors and then I had to narrow it down because we didn't have all the ingredients. So this is where we started. This is the nest. I love, I love the nest. It's uh, just a mess of things, but you can see I've, I've cut some things out. Um, originally there was gonna be, oh, here's the butterfly charm. I love this charm from Tierra Cast. Um, these little itsy hearts from Nun. And you can still use all these. Absolutely, because they're really fun. Yeah. And I, and Somewhere I have my inspiration photo um, of all of my ingredients. I'm trying to find somewhere on the blue is that lapis embellished pendant we have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere in the mess. Although 
Oh, here, it's right on my table. No wonder I can't see it because it fell out. <laughs> but originally I had plans for more and more, especially with this free to design that I had in my head. I really wanted to have all of these bunches and bundles of charms and deliciousness. Yeah. But. Which you can't, I bet you can. You can, you totally can. Yeah, we've got all kinds of deliciousness on the web. And I love, Drea, that drop, how you macrameed that drop with the um, with the dark and then the light beads. Um, I use the same ADOT throughout. Yeah. It is the crystal, matte crystal AB, 8-131FR. Uh, so the whole, so every single one of those has that white. Yep. Oh, I like that. Yep. Kind of like brought that. it all together with all of my different colors mm -hmm. and lightened it up a little too. So it mm -hmm. wasn't just a, cause I didn't want the whole necklace to just be this, you know, right. I wanted to have right. some breaks in the color. Right. Makes sense. And I also, in my own head, planned things where I had like the blue with the blue to me, the butterfly spoke to the periwinkle, the hearts with the flower. I mean, the hearts with the pink, I mm -hmm. had this whole idea going. Uh, and then late yesterday, I realized we didn't have a lot of this stuff ordered. So I well, snipped yeah. them. But we have a lot of choices. We have and the beauty of this type of project, especially when it's up on the project page, is you can take a look at the recipe and substitute Do whatever, whatever you want. want. Yeah. Cindy said that she's been hoarding that drop, so it's time to break it out. Oh, yeah. It's so, it's, they're beautiful. Yeah, I love them. I love this. I This is the first one I had bought. I had not had one before. And now I'm just, I'm going to have to remake and do something else with it. Yeah. And I think I like still with this hemp, because it is the perfect color. That na This is the navy hemp. It is a perfect match. It's beautiful. Yeah. I love it. So, um, so how would we start? So let's talk about just putting this all together, Tree. So I started at the middle of every strand, every single one. I just did a lark's head knot around each charm, or this is a the Jardin hoop from Tierra Cast. And then I macrameed out on either side. I added my beads directly onto the center cord, macrameed around, of course, as I said, instead of Bollywooding like you would have thought I would do in Bollywood necklaces. Well, you know. <laughs> Uh, but it's really part. straightforward and really simple. Hemp is we really easy to macrame with. with. It makes it. a really tight knot. It uh, doesn't have a ton of give. It gives you a pretty clear delineated knot, kind of like Ceylon. Um, and again, it's that natural fiber. It does, it will change. My green happened to be a little thicker than my pink and my burgundy. Mm -hmm. I ended up having, and again, beads can change too. Not every bead is created equally. I have two of the wild roses left that I couldn't fit on the green cord. Mm. These two fit on fine. Mm -hmm. These two wouldn't. So check your bead holes. Make sure that they are a good size. I know that the hemp, I think it says 0.5 millimeters. Think, think closer to 0.8 or to a one millimeter hole size, because it, it will change. Right. And make yourself a glue needle. I don't know if you can really tell that that's a glue end, but let me get the other side of the green. Here. My favorite, my favorite way to string. Yes. So the top strand here is glued to the bottom one isn't. And after you put a few beads on without the glue, this is gonna fray and it's mm -hmm. gonna drive you nuts. So make glue needles, which is just a drop of the GS Hypo. Um, I don't have an empty baggie here, so pretend this is empty. Dab some on the empty bag, and then take your end. This one has a knot in it, so again, I'm not showing you the best way. Dab the glue on, and then swipe through, and you'll have a nice glue end. Uh, also can help if you angle cut after it's dried, after the glue yeah, dries. I don't know if you can definitely. see that that's cut 
at an angle, that helps. But again, and I tested these first because I didn't want to drive myself nuts later. And I've learned that lesson over the years. I couldn't, I just, I could get this one like part way for whatever reason, this one bead is just skinnier hole in the middle. So uh, I would have liked to have another pair of flowers like up here somewhere towards the end, but oh well. And I also, in my opinion, I ordered four of these Caspa rounds. I think that's what these ones are. Oh yeah, are the Caspa tumbled? rounds. I love those beads. They are so gorgeous. And I wish I ordered more. I only put four in here. I would have loved to have more of those. And these palmette drops too. These those palmette drop. But can you hold those a little closer to the camera, Drea, so people can really see the detail on those? Those are our Tierra cast pieces, and the palmette drops are are embellished on the front and the reverse. Yep, same on both sides. Same on both sides. They're so they're so versatile. And I really feel like Tierra cast pieces and Green Girls pieces go hand in hand beautifully. Yeah. I've had my eye on this uh captured heart pendant for a really long time. I've yes. loved it and I haven't yes. known what to do with it. Um and then when I got this Frida Kahlo plan in my head um, with all of these other like little design elements, I, it was perfect to me. That just fit perfectly. Yeah. It's a nice one. It's yeah. It's, it's really weighty too. Like I, I really like a physical weight. It's, right. it's really got like a heft to it. It really feels substantial and nice. Not so heavy that it's going to weigh your neck down. I'm not saying that, but it really feels right. like quality, well-made, really nice. Right. Love it. No, great. So how did you go about measuring for length? Like where do those hit, like how do those graduate and how do you want to wear those? I don't measure. I don't know. Do you have me up or is it just my? No, um, I can. Uh, let me put you, let me get rid of this. Let and me Let me sit up a little more. This is I'm literally gonna... what I do to measure. I go, okay. yep, that looks good. And then I cut it. That's all I Great. ever do. I never, That's what I do too. I feel like I, I want something to hit at a certain point and I'll think like, oh, this is as short as I want the shortest one to be. Then I just make the next one a little longer and then the next one a little longer. So you start with your shortest and go long. I did because- Yeah, that's usually what I do too. The length of this pendant, I wanted mm -hmm. to make sure that it was gonna hit at a good spot. Right. Uh, since this is not finished, the green one's going to fall down, but it would hit. It's getting stuck on my regular necklace, mm -hmm. but it would hit. I can't see what I'm doing because it's mirrored. Yeah, no, it's good. So, it hits so they like, just graduate. They have a little bit of space in between to graduate. Yeah, not a ton, just a little bit. And then mm -hmm. the green one would go. I'm like tangling myself. At right the bottom. The green <laughs> at the bottom. I love it. That. I love it. So uh, shall we look at, I'm going to put this, your center camera back up. Um, so uh, there's a couple of things that I want to talk about connecting those centers. So yep. not only those that you have on the necklaces, but maybe let's talk also about the ones that you've cut off as well, because let's I just... think that sometimes it can be a little confusing as to how to connect them. Yep, I'm going to actually cut this butterfly charm off right now, okay. and then we'll start from scratch with it. Okay. And that's all, that's the hemp too, right? Yep. Periwinkle. Yeah. Uh, I really love this periwinkle color. We just didn't have too. a ton of it in stock, and I didn't want to have a sold out product. Yeah. So I cut a length which I did not measure this one. I just cut it really short for and, uh, uh, demo. And go up sake. a little bit higher in the, there you go. Perfect, Dre. Uh, both sides. I don't know if I can do it from this angle where I can see. Put both strands through. Oh, and did you do a lark's head knot? Yeah, it's just a lark's head. Oh, that's but terribly Tell me if I can actually see what I'm doing here. Yeah. Nope, I can't. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the yep. phone. That's okay. 
But a lark's head is a great idea to, I didn't even think of it, to connect those. Very smart. It was easy peasy, but now I have frayed, I already mentioned this, but I frayed the end on one side, so I've already annoyed myself. Make the glue needles, guys, make the glue needles. Yeah, and sometimes that's just how it goes. Yeah, I mean, we're doing this real quick here, so I'm not going to make yeah. the glue needles right now, and you'll yeah. see how frustrated I get. But yeah. the glue needles are uh, the way to do it. All right, I got this. So, both strands right through that bale. Your little loop here that's left, let me make it a little smaller so you can see better. That loop, grab the two strands through, and pull. Just tighten it up so it looks nice and pretty and even. And you can do it on either side. One side will kind of have this, I don't know if you can really see it, this little hitch almost over the front. Right, right. The other side, you'll kind of see the two loops of uh, thread. And that's also a good way, like if you were attaching a charm to cord or something, you could do yeah. it that way too. Right. Let me show, let's do it on something bigger and and sorry friends the um i'm still having some work done in my backyard and of course they pick the days when i do my live to pour concrete so you're going to hear some noise in the background that's actually quite a bit of noise in the background so i'm going to actually mute myself for a second okay i'm just tying this around a tube so you can see a little on something a little larger it's really just the loop, come around and grab. Yeah, so I said I'd do it larger so you can see better and then I don't show it very well. Loop, <laughs> come through the loop, grab the tails and pull it tight. Ta-da! That's all it is. Works out really well, it's secure. Nice. And from here, I used a clamper where are my clampers? Here we go. Let me get to the edge of my board here. I clamped my charm directly to the board. I clamped the other end to the other side of my board. If you can see that. And then with another length. Andrea, I'm just stepping away just for a second, but I'll be right back. Okay, I'll be right here. Okay. And I'll miss you the whole time. <laughs> totally. So then I just macrameed. I grabbed a length. I usually, I don't know if anyone else does this, but I'll start with like the first full knot down here and then I'll push it all the way up. For me, it's just easier. I don't know. I don't know if that's a normal thing to do, but that's how I do it. And I just macrameed. And then when I got a little bit further again, because you kind of pull as you're knotting, just push it back forward so that you don't have this gap between your charm and your macrame. Just tuck it up there. Uh, before you really get going, string your beads right on the center strand here, and then you'll just push a bead up and then macrame around it. And you can see that these white seed beads are directly on that center strand, and then you just macrame around them. For most of them, I did well, I think just one knot. One full knot is, here we got P's and Q's, right? Here's my P. Pull tight. Here's my Q. And get stuck on the clamper. All right. And pull tight. I would put another bead up and another full knot. That was the easy part. This part is not necessarily difficult. Uh, and I do have a photo that I'm going to add to the project map. But my ending, I wanted to make this one necklace. I did not want to have three separate necklaces with three separate clasps to do. Uh, my fingers don't always work well. Uh, if you remember, oh gosh, a couple of years ago now, we did some multi-strand necklaces that I did with uh, Moonstone and Labradorite Shocker. And I made all three connect with one of our uh, three strand connectors. That makes life so much easier. We actually have some cool um, components like that coming in August. I'll, I think I have them nearby. I'll show you a sneak peek in a few. 
Uh, so when I ended, let's see if you can, let me get a little closer here. And I'm sorry, again, we have a not so sunny day here. So it's a little that bit- That looks dark. great. And I'm back. I just had oh, to I check something it. about my, so, our work guys. <laughs> this is, this is how I ended. And I'm going to show you with the final green strand here, how to connect this. I had the center strand come up and I did not connect directly to this link. I connected it directly to a jump ring. And then afterwards I connected the jump rings to the links. So the strand, the center strand comes up, goes through the jump ring. And then I'll show you, I macrame back down to finish it. And then these on the other side, let me do this and turn it a little sideways here. And so Drea, chain. Cindy has a quick question just yeah. to keep in mind. What did you do with the strand that you didn't use for macrame? You're going to show that when you close yep. it, right? Yep. You'll yeah. see. Yeah, yeah. So let me close this. So this is just a length of the Figaro chain. Oh, it's twisted. Sorry, guys. Uh, jump ring connection to the topmost hole. These components have five holes around the edge. So the top two here are connected to the chain and then the bottom three are connected to my hemp necklaces. And then this is just a loose jump ring just floating on the chain. I don't know if you can really see it. I'm like not in the shot. Here's that. See, it just pulls right through. Oh, that's real smart. So you could do, I mean, again, you could make any choices you wanted to on the end here. Oh, we yeah. have some different bar connectors or multi-hold connectors that you could use. Yeah. Um, and instead of having the chain slide through the ring, you could put the jump ring through the chain yeah. so it's stationary. That's great. I, I like that a lot. Can I uh, show what I just teased, which you weren't here, but I teased our new sure, connectors? Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. So these are coming, I, I'm pretty sure like early August or mid August. If you remember those necklaces I made that yes. had these, and I like made my own version of these, I just used lobster claws and our uh, Clio clasps. This is like a pre-made version of them. It's fabulous. Yes. And you could easily do this with a necklace like this as well. It's uh, but these come in really handy for like charm necklaces or if you're layering necklaces, you just attach your necklaces all on one side, attach your lobster claws from the necklace itself to the other side, and you just put all three on at well, once. No. They're so, I love them so much. And I'm yeah. going to tease the new chains when I show you what I've got going on here that That's are going to go with them really well. So the um, Cindy was also asking, uh, and I'm sorry because I had stepped away, the extra strand not used for macrame at the beginning. That's the other side of your necklace. Let me get the uh, gotcha. Like? Gotcha. The other side you're going to macrame on as well. Gotcha. It's going to end up being the other side of your necklace. Gotcha. Perfect. So I just pushed it aside while I macrame on one side and then I brought it out and macrame the other. Perfect. So, like, here's the center of my green strand. I used the succulent charm. I did a lark's head knot. And then I started just like with this butterfly. Macrame up one side, just like this. And then I would macrame the other side, just like I did here. And then I'll also show you these flowers. I wanted them to sit flat. Because when we do something where it's macrame a round bead, you'll have that thread go around the outside edge. And it's a great design element, but it was not working for me with the flowers. And you would either have just loose threads because they won't really stay around the edge, they'll slip off. Uh, or there would be one single sh strand going straight across the face of the flower. And I wanted to not break the flower up. So I brought both strands around to the back, which you might be able to see actually better. Let's look at the lighter color here. So that's the back of my flower. And that's my front. So it doesn't have oh, a string that's going smart. across the front. Right. So it's just going along the back, not carried yep. along the sides or the front. Yep. Very nice. So I tied my final knot, slid this bead up, and then my two knotting strands came behind and I tied another knot below. And then yes. they're just hidden back there. And then the flower also doesn't twist around when you're wearing it. 
Very clever. Yes. So let okay, me. Okay, so closure. Closure. Let me show you. I do have a thing. I forgot to post it, um, but I do have a series of photos that we'll put um, on the project map. Yeah, they were nice and clear. So here I'm going to clamp one side up here and let me find, what did I do with my jump rings? Here they are. I'm going to, so now I have about maybe half an inch left uh, before I need to end this. And I don't really measure, I just kind of compare both sides of the necklace. I just look and see what what looks even and what looks nice. Um, I don't know why I do that. It's probably not the best way to do it, but that's how I do it. Well, you have a practiced eye for sure. That's, I think that's perfectly legit, Drea. I think that's part of it. I think part of it's also laziness. Let's not lie to ourselves. It's me. <laughs> well, well, I don't so, know. <laughs> this is what I do. I just hold them up. I'm like, all right, well, that's where that last bead is. And so I need to macrame this length. So I'm going to tie a couple more knots before I actually do that. So first, jump ring is just strung right on. I am going to get a clamper. So now I am clamped on this end. I need a few more knots before I think I'm really ready. So I'm just going to tie, these are just flat macrame, just plain old P's and Q's. Pull tight. Andrea, are you using oval or round jump rings on those? Oval, my favorite. Okay, perfect. And yeah. Linda's asking, is the new pink hemp a little on the peachy side? It's not really. No. It's, it's like on the dusty, kind of the, the dusty rose side. Yeah, tea rose side. Yeah. yeah. It's very, um, if you remember, millennial pink was really cool yes. a couple years ago and everywhere. It's very, yes. very that color. Yes. See how quickly I've forgotten millennial pink has <laughs> gone by the wayside for me. I will never forget it. I still love it. That's right. Well, so maybe like one more half hitch here. And I think I'm going to be about where I want to be. See how it's thicker right here? That's because I have a third strand and I'll show you why and how. Let me also move a little closer. Sorry for the shadow. I'm hoping this is going to be visible. So my jump ring is on. I'm unhooking from the bottom and I need a scrap piece. I'm going to put a scrap piece, which is this uh, burgundy, also through my jump ring. And I'm going to attach the scrap to the bottom of my board. I also, um, I tend to use my board, I'm gonna say in landscape mode. I use it horizontally yeah. more often than I do vertically. Same. I'm glad I'm not alone in that. I always feel like I'm weird no. for doing that. No, no. I look at it like a big picture window. That's how I like to look. I like it because it's, uh, it fits on my lap better or fits on my table better. Yeah, and I, I like looking at things in landscape. Yeah, it just seems like a better spatial yeah. thing for me. All right, so I'm going to compare this again. I think I am not quite where I want to be. So just adjust. See where the green ends on the strand on the, or the side on the left? I want that to be equal because see where my beads end? I'm trying to make this sound like a technical thing and it's not technical, it's just make sure they're even. But that looks good to me. So I'm gonna clamper this down just to hold it for a sec. I'm gonna tighten my scrap. Actually, I'm gonna keep this clamp because it's so short now that I don't have enough right. space um, I can't yeah. clamp it to the other end. You can That's... tape it like a piece of scotch tape right here or use your clamper. 
either way is fine. All right, ready? I'm gonna capture this thread that I folded back on itself with one half hitch knot, just the one half, and pull that. Unclamp or untape and bring this alongside. Doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. It could go on either side. But bring it along with one side and you're gonna make your P with a single strand and go through with the double strand. It is a little thicker. It's not super noticeable. And you just keep going until you have just a tiny loop at the end. I did this because I didn't think it was gonna be secure enough to hold and not pull uh, by just macrameing over. So I have incorporated the base strand into the macrame strands for extra security. I'm hoping that makes sense. I'm hoping I haven't confused anybody. No, it looks good. And everyone's really liking the way you're attaching this. And again, that heavier, little bit of heavier end doesn't doesn't make any difference at all. You, really. Yeah. Let me bring the finished side over again. You really don't. It is bigger, but it's not like someone staring at the back of your neck or at your clasp saying, oh my God, why is it thicker right there? No one's right. going to. No one's going to say anything about it. I forgot which end I was doing. All right. I may have just skipped a knot on here. Do as I say, not as I do. Don't skip a, don't skip a side. Don't skip a hitch. And I do pull both of these. Hemp is kind of rough. And it's been, it'll kind of catch on itself. So you do want to make sure that you pull and tighten. And I go pretty close to the jump ring. I think I, I think I might just do one more knot and call that good. I may not have even needed this last knot. I don't think I need the last one. I think that's, act I don't, again, do as I say, not as I do. I'm going to undo this because I think that's going to end up being too close to the jump ring. Okay. Final knot. Here we go. Let's get our GS hypo. Let me move this up a little bit. A little nice. I'm sorry. I had myself on, on mute there, but. It's looking good. Oh, thanks. I'm jabbing front and back. Just a little bit. It does darken the hemp. So just a heads up. You don't want to go overboard with it. And then we will pretend that this is dry. I didn't trim too close, but give it a haircut, as Janice says. That's right. I can unhook and now I have a jump ring that is ready to attach to my connector. Let me unclamper myself here and I'm going to lay this back out. I'm going to move this up again. Let's move this camera. Sorry, I'm a little shaky. I hope no one gets car sick. That's my fault. Those are looking good. I actually am holding, I have this kind of backwards, but that's okay. So that green one is the longest one. Is that yes. right? Yes. Gotcha. So actually I'm going to move my tray out of here. Cause I'm just going to get tangled. And now you're going to hear it on my table. Sorry. So I'm actually upside down right now. You'll see the backs of these flowers, the backs of my uh, pendants. 
you want to make sure when you are attaching these that you're attaching them so that they'll face either all backwards or all frontwards so that you know that you're not going to have one piece backwards or one piece front at the end. So just like I did over here, oh, let me move them up a little bit more, sorry. I'm going to attach that final jump ring. Sorry, I should have put a little thing next to me so I wasn't banging on the table. We do have a skill builder for opening and closing jump rings. You wanna to open to the side. I'm gonna glue my finger since I just glued this, watch. It's hooked on, I don't know if you can really see it because it's silver on silver, but I've hooked it in. Oops. And close. Everyone can say bye, Matt. He's leaving for work. Bye, dear. Bye, dear. <laughs> I, his back was to me, but I could sense the eye roll. <laughs> and that's it. Yay. Just in time for the big machinery outside my studio to be turned off. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. I did, um, I didn't mention this before, but I do have two jump rings on the chain side here. I don't know if that's super visible, um, but I did attach a jump ring to the chain and then a jump ring to the jump ring. Gotcha. Can you see that? I, I can. That to me just made it a little easier to clasp. Yeah, a little bit more movement always helps for sure. Yeah. It looks nice, Drea. And I like the way, this is also a way that you can, if you're making a gift or you're not really sure about the length that you need to, to make, that closure is really good for adjusting the length. Yeah. And you, you can also do like a bigger chain that would have an extender. You know, those extender chains that we make a lot. Right, right, right. Actually, one of these extra put that on a head pin at the end of a length of chain like circle back or endless love yeah that would be cool really to hang pretty. down i have these backwards so the green is on the outside do you like how i said i had it backwards and then i made it more backwards well sometimes that's how it goes it, it's always how it goes in my life <laughs> Ta -da! That looks great. You can also have these like further down. My original idea with the five strand was going to have um, the Jardin hoops uh, closer to the center and have three strands come off of it. But since we didn't have enough of the hemp, I just, I edited myself and I edited right. my colors. Don't mind that these are super tangled right now. It's because I kind of grabbed them when I pulled them up. Let's see if I can untangle. No, they look really, they look nice. I want to show you folks. Can I show what I've got going on on my board oh, here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me show you guys here while Drea is fixing that. Here's my mess of a board right here. And remember how Drea showed you those multi-strand clasps that we're getting we're also getting the chains that are going to go with them. We're getting them in the gold and the silver. They're stainless. So we're getting them in lengths from 16 inches all the way to 24. So I'm going to put a jump ring on this um, green girl piece. You can see I've already got my, my um, Tahitian pearl on there. And what happened to my jump rings? They were sitting here like two seconds ago. They jumped away. Isn't that how it always is? Let it me, really is. Let me grab another one here. Um, hang on, I got them all. I was going to put an oval, but I'll put a round on instead because that's... Oh, that's, fine, if you must. That's okay. 
So here's my my round one, and I'm just going to open it up. And we'll go ahead and with Cynthia's wisdom pendant, the iris, I'm going to close this up. Whoops. No, I'm not. I didn't have a very good hold on that. So let me try that again. Just like Drea did with her jump rings, I'm using two pliers. One and two here. There we go. Another machine is starting up. I'm sorry about that. I don't hear it. I think okay, good, good. If you guys couldn't hear Matt stomping around this house, then. Well, it's freaking me out. So here, <laughs> um, so here's this clasp. You can see it closes. I'm really pleased with the quality of these lobster claws exactly. So here is my layer for these. I think they look, um, I love how this looks. And with the chains, you can layer them from 16 inches all the way down to 24. And then I'm going to layer this with, I'm stringing a strand of pearls, and I'm going to layer that with my little heirloom coin. But you could also do something like this, put one of Cynthia's component pieces in there too. That would look really nice. So all of these components have a lot of, um, a lot of ways to work with them. I also found, Drea, this was your wrap. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here. Yep, so it's here. Traditional laddering. Yep. Macrame, a little bit of macrame, and traditional laddering with six odds. Yeah, so nice. And there was a question about the chain. Lynn is saying it is that just that nice, small, really, um, really nice chain. Uh, there we go. Drea, can you hear me okay? Mm hmm Okay, great. I think your phone cut out for a second and it put all of us back on the thing. So any parting words for this piece that you've got going on? Uh, not really. It's pretty simple. I really, you know me, I like something easy and I don't want to overcomplicate things, but I do right. like to add some different design elements. So it's a little bit of laziness and a little bit of fun. Very No, me. I... I like it a lot. And something like that, you could also layer. I'm going to put on oh, this yeah. thing right here. I am not going to put this on because that glue is still wet and I yeah, glued still it to my finger. There so I'm go. not going to put it on right now. But, but they're great for layering. Yeah, look at this. I'm so... Yeah. I just Beautiful. love it. Instant heirloom. And then my pearl piece that I'm doing... And folks, you can check out Ron's website. It's landisstudios.net. Um, he is one of the only working mints left in the country. He carves his own hubs, just like the old hub carvers used to. But it's a real piece of jewelry Americana and history. So it'll be fun. It'll really be Really nice, Kate. Um, people are loving this. Drea. They're loving this piece. It like threw me back to the late 90s when I started becoming more of a hippie and wearing hemp chokers. <laughs> I like a hemp choker. <laughs> you can't go wrong. I wore it every day. I had one with like a big clay bead at the front. Yep. I kind of want to make it. a new one. I'm, well, I'm shall I give back. people uh, a sneak peek about what's coming on Friday? I don't remember what's coming on Friday, Kate. Five strands. Five strands of colorful beads. My my dog just fell behind me. Hi. We've got these coming. Oh, never mind. Now I know. They're li you I remember. literally have them right next to me. Yeah, right here. My brain work, works really well, you guys. We're super excited. We are launching these new chakra colors. Let me... Um, Yes. Let me put it in the center. 
So these are pieces that we've gotten one of our stone dealers that he made for us. And we're really excited by it. And so we're launching these five different shapes. If you folks love them, you remember the, the crescent earrings that I did? Well, we have the crescent in what they call the chakra colors, the different, the red, orange, yellow, the light blue, the dark blue, the purple, and the green. They are um, all gemstones. The, uh, the red, the green, and the blue, these guys are dyed, but they're, what I want to say, color fast, stable. And then these are the natural stones over here. And we're going to carry them in the five different sizes. So on Friday, I'm going to be working with the Chinese knotting cord and I'm going to do a wrist mala with it. And the cool thing about these, these strands is that they come with these beautiful multicolored tassels. I love so that. So not only do you get these, but you get some bonus tassels as well. Yeah, Drea's got hers right there. Let me. Yeah, I'm totally. These need to be earrings. Yeah, like it's too dark yeah. in here. But yeah, these need to be. No, earrings. they're really great. So these go live on Friday, and I'm going to uh, do some things. We're going to do a wrist mala with these. Melanie is asking about July mixes. Um, I think what just arrived onto my desk right there. I can see them that Chris brought in. I believe that is the beads for the mix. So we will get that out. It should launch. I think we've got it on the launch calendar. So we stay do, tuned. I think not next week, but the week after. The week but after. watch your newsletters. It'll be in yeah. your morning newsletter. I'll give you a fair warning. It'll be on there. And then um, let me go back to this. There we are. Let me move us around. I'm going to move Drea so we up have there. These gem chakras coming on Friday, plus another mm -hmm. bead coming on Friday. I don't know if you're using it in your mala. Yeah, I'm going to show it. I have okay. them here. It's the the little metal spacers. They're so nice. We had uh, called them the triangular spacers. They're really more square. So we're calling them mm -hmm. square hishi. So if you ordered them before when we first got them, what, maybe a month ago? Mm. They're back. They're back. Cubans yeah. There? And they're all evenly sized they're all the same thing yeah. so so that's what's cool. coming friday mm -hmm. and then we have some cool stuff coming next week i will be out next week so uh kate will be answering customer service emails if you're emailing in uh but next week we have so much stuff going on and then i think yes. after that we have the monthly mixes coming back yeah exactly and so next weekend not this weekend that's coming but the following weekend is the great bead extravaganza. So I have some, a really cool kit that you folks are going to love that we'll preview. I've got three colorways for it. So it's going to be fun. We're going to get this one done by the skin of our teeth, but we're getting it done. So thank you. A big shout out to Janice for <laughs> helping me bail out um, doing that. Melanie is saying she can't ever get a newsletter, no matter what she tries. Mm -hmm. Have you emailed me and I just don't remember? I am going to look you up right now. <laughs> look at this customer service live. While you're but doing that, you email me. Use uh, I don't Let me show you in here with your name at least. I'll Let's do it see. right here. You can find all of our info. Uh, not only follow us on all of our socials, Facebook, The Bead Table, Instagram, our Pinterest page. Like and subscribe uh, to us over on our YouTube channel. Everything's over at beadshop.com. And if you need to get in touch with customer service because it's this girl right there, it's me. you'll find Drea over at info at beadshop.com. So if you have any questions or you have trouble with getting the newsletter or whatever, um, just hit us over at info at beadshop.com. Um, always check your spam folder. Yeah, because sometimes, friends, the, um, let me get Drea back on here. Uh, 
when you are doing something from an email list or from your emails, sometimes your email provider funnels it somewhere else into promotions or spam or trash or wherever. So if you find it, if you search, it comes from info at beadshop.com. You can search that, you can put it on your approved senders list, and then we should be good to go. Yep. I've also noticed Yahoo will unsubscribe for you. Gmail will unsubscribe for you. Uh, mm -hmm. Melanie, you are unsubscribed. So I just resubscribed oh. you. Check your email and click that you want to resubscribe. This happens all the time all the time all the time and it's not it's not you clicking unsubscribe it's your email saying oh you probably don't want this it's junk and they unsubscribe for you yeah. it happens all the time it happens all the time so if you're Yay. not getting a newsletter email me i will email. look it, it, you, it took me two seconds yeah right here live customer <laughs> service our customer service in action it only goes to show we've got the best customer service team that's, that's team. the team. The right team, there. the whole team. There is a me in team. That's right. Um, so there is a me in team. So Drea, thank you so, so, so much for this really amazing project. Um, it's really, I think it's a great summer one. I think it's really a great one if you're going to travel um, and it'll be fun and easy to take with you on a trip. I wanted to uh, just give everyone the heads up that you can find all of the information on the product and the project from today's broadcast right at beadshop.com. You'll find it. You put it under Bollywood necklaces, Drea, I believe. Yes. And if you have questions, send that email you our way and stay in touch via our newsletter. So I will be back. I will see you on Friday for our uh, really fantastic new beads that are coming. Um, I hope you love them as much as we do. Um, and thank you, not? friends, so much for all of your kind words. It's so great. Um, Andrea will be back with another We Always Have Something Cooking. It's always my goal to get her back on the show. And it's always my goal to avoid it. Back on the show. Everyone loves you. And yes, Mary, you can find all of this green girl right at beadshop.com. Right now they're on new arrivals, just ins because we just launched them. But there's a whole category. If you shop by brand, I think. We there's have several ways you can go. You can go to <coughs> shop and then go down to shop by designer. Green girl right. will be in there. You can go to shop and go to components and findings. There's also a green girl section there. And then awesome. you can also find each different thing in each different component. There'll be charms and just charms. There'll be links and just links. They're all Perfect. over the place. Perf. All right. Well, my friend, I will talk to you soon. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, everybody. Janice, thank you, as always, for doing your great moderation. We couldn't do it without you. And Karen, we could not do it without you. So thank you so much for all Very that true. you folks do as well. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.